Hello everybody, how you doing? I'm starting this video with a smile on my face because I don't think I'm going to end up at the end of the video with a smile on my face. In fact, I've already filmed little bits and pieces today as of the 1st of February uh, 2023. Um, so I've just literally, about 45 minutes ago to an hour ago, I had a knock on the door from the Vale of Glamorgan Council um, fly tipping department. Now this is a follow on call that they made on the 20th of January 2023. And basically uh, the conversation went, um, you've been accused of fly tipping um, and you're either gonna face a fine of 50,000 pounds or if you can't pay the £50,000, um, you're going to serve um, some time in prison. And so, so the story goes, some of you, have, so, some of you already know uh, some of this story. Um, there's a patch of land outside of uh, my property. Um, there's four streets that back onto this patch of land. Cruella Street, Moxon Street... Harvey Street and Main Street and the council have uh, they, 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 they've closed the park down 15 years ago and they abandoned this park um, and, and they've done nothing with it there's been trees growing through the concrete there's been a big issue with Japanese knotweed and just the whole place has been left derelict and left to be overgrown and and Lots of rubbish being left. I mean, shopping trolleys and all sorts of stuff. So um, <coughs> I took it upon myself to um, improve the area. Improve the area, plant some trees, plant some shrubs, and generally try and improve the area. Um, What's happened since is that um, I've been accused of, unfortunately, I've been accused of fly tipping. Now, I've been on the gov.uk website and um, fly tipping is um, the disposal of waste or hazardous materials. Now, I've put no hazardous materials outside. Um, it's earth from my own garden that's been moved no more than 20 yards no more than 20 yards so it's the same it's like for like it's the same soil that is from a patch of land 20 20 yards away now what i want to say in this incident is is i've been there is a video on YouTube as of October 2022 where I show the area. I show the derelict mess of this area um, before any earth was put on this on, on this area. And so, so I had a knock on the door and these, 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 these two burly guys today, 1st of February 2023, asked me, have I made any progress in uh, clearing up the, they call it rubbish, it's earth. It's earth, it's pla it's shrubs, it, there's apple trees, there's there's pear trees, there's there's blackberry bushes out there, there's there's bay trees, there's Japanese aces out there. It, it, some of it's grass, it's far from waste, it's far from rubbish. Uh, so what happened over the winter months, um I did put some some of um, my soil on that bit of disused derelict land has been locked up. It's 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 a landlocked area. Um, it's it's locked up by gates. The public can't enter it. But when I when I used to come in at four o'clock when it got dark over the winter months, what I would find is that in the night, somebody else or some other people i don't know it might be a few houses out there were well, also they could see what i was doing trying to improve the area and they were choosing to do it by night now i don't know who these people are. i've got i've got no idea whatsoever who these people 
uh, or, or, or you know I, I've not seen anybody out there but it was happening at night so the Vale of Glamorgan Council these two 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 fellas nice nice enough nice enough fellas um knocked, knocked the door and um accused me of putting all of this land outside which is complete and utter it's just not true I couldn't physically from October 2022 to January the 20th 2023 when they knocked the door I couldn't physically physically put all of that earth outside not with my back not with my um tinnitus tinnitus um problems with my arms there's there's no way I could move what seems like 20 tons of soil on my own not with my back problems not with my arm problems so um the point of this video the point i'm making is um because i am quite irate I, I said i was going to start off by smiling because i always want my videos to try and be positive but unfortunately this one's not going to be positive but um i, I want to show um areas of caddickston where i live that have been completely neglected by the council um, and I'm going to first of all first of all show an area where um, I grew up in in Blackwell Close in in Barry just up the road I'm going to take a little walk up there now and start showing you areas of where I used to live of what used to be pristine they used to be pristine areas <coughs> they were always well maintained they were always well looked after and you'll be shocked you'll be shocked by the amount of neglect by the Vale of Glamorgan Council, no duty of care on these parcels of land. And the point of, the, of me showing, if you could probably tell by now I'm quite irate by all of this, the point of me showing you this video and these videos is partly it's evidence for my case because I probably... This is probably going to go to court, um, but I want to show the reason as to why I planted trees and tried to save a bit of precious land. There's, there's beer reviews where I've said, oh, I can hear the birds singing and I can, you know, it's fantastic out there now. It's really improved the area. Um, so let's crack on. Let me start off by showing everybody the area where I live, Caddickston, postcode CF63 uh, of, of the neglect on, on, on public open space and, 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 and locked lanes uh, of the area of Caddickston where I live. Let's go. So I'm going to start with just stepping outside my front door. This is the state. I haven't even got a step up. I'm stepping out onto rubbish. There's literally rubbish lining the streets. Where is the duty of care from the Vale of Glamorgan Council? It is their land. Why are they not cleaning it? Just stepping out here. A sofa dumped out in the road. And they're picking on me. Literally, it's absurd. Look at the state of this place. It's, it's, un, it's almost unlivable. And I'm being blamed for fly tipping. They're picking on me for fly tipping. When you, they were literally standing outside my house, standing in rubbish, standing in rubbish, accusing me of fly tipping. So this is the most heartbreaking one for me. This is where I grew up. I lived in that house there, number 13 Blackwell Close, Barry. And I used to play football here. Believe it or not, me and my friends grew up playing football here. Look at it. This used to be pristine concrete. If you take this as an example of where I live, or where I, where I am down behind Cruella Street there, I don't want to give my address on the internet. But if you think, if you use this as an example of what that land is going to become if left to the Vale of Glamorgan Council. There's a tree here growing in the side, up the side of somebody's house. There's probably 
well it's nearly up to second floor level nearly up to second floor level there's a waste wheelie bin there's brambles right the way up my father if my father seen this if my father seen this he'd be heartbroken heartbroken he, we lived there number 13 black or close i lived there for 18 years i used to play football yeah that used to be the goals there and that used to be the goals there this is where i grew up look at it this is absolutely heartbreaking where is the duty of care the duty of care i mean look at it unbelievable unbelievable it's unbelievable glass bottles plastic bottles it's an absolute disgrace an absolute disgrace the Vale of Glamorgan Council should be ashamed of themselves. So this is Harvey Street in Caddickston in Barry, And here's another incident of just, I mean, loads of rubbish and stuff growing. that's not being cleaned up. There's no duty of care. This is the point. The, the lanes are not looked after. The lanes are full of moss and not being cleaned litter and rubbish all up these lanes it's just another example of the council neglecting the, the, the land that they that they own so we're now walking up the side of Blackwell Close where I was brought up again you've got more of these weeder trees everywhere blocking pathways and just left left to run wild yeah? and again when I was growing up here as a kid I mean, look at this. Bags of, of, of old rubble and pallets. Here we are, toxic blooming paints. Look, it's all sorts of terrible things on the side of the containers. More rubbish. I mean, that's, actually it's not. That's a, a load of litter left there. A, a, an area of the, the land owned by the council that's just left again six seven foot high you can see there's the first floor level of that terraced house you've got brambles and bushes and rubbish strewn in these brambles and bushes there's 10 foot tall 10 foot tall this is the rear of blackwell close and lee road in barry carpet timber Cheers, kids cheers, brambles, it's not too, well, I say, say it's not, I, I mean, uh, caravans and whatnot, that, that, you know, look at this, brambles, look, up to first floor level again, this is all the job of the Vale of Glamorgan Council, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show other areas of where I live in Caddickston. I mean, look, oh, here's a sofa. There's a cooker, um, a suitcase. Um, uh, yeah, a chair, sofa chair. And we can't get down there. But I used to play football down through there as well as a youngster. Um, but I, I, what I want to show you now are other areas of Barry, Other areas of Caddickston where I live that are equally left in well, like this, bin bags and trees and an absolute state. And the reason why I'm making this video today is again, I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna reiterate this. I don't want where I live to end up like this. I don't want where I live to end up like this. I know I probably should have gone to the council and I should have spoken to him about it, but I took it upon myself to do up the area because I'm not very illiterate. I'm not very good at writing letters. I'm not very good at phoning councils and speaking to them over the phone. I'm not very good in meetings. So I chose to do it off my own back. Whether that was the wrong decision will only come in, will we'll only tell. We'll, we'll only tell if I face this £50,000 fly tipping charge or I face prison. Here's another example. This is Main Street in Barry. It's literally 
trees and weeds growing across people's front doors growing across if you tripped on that somebody's liable isn't they let's just i've not been up this lane yet but let's have a little look up this lane shall we this is 319 oh look look there's bin bags and a mattress and a staircase that looks like it's not been looked at by the Vale of Glamorgan Council for the last 40 years. You can see brambles and all sorts growing over. Again, moss in the lanes. Disgusting. Here's another area of Barry. This is Barry Road in Barry. Now, when I was a youngster, this used to be all cut grass cut grass and, and, and land that was looked after by the Vale of Glamorgan Council. Now you couldn't get it. It's, that, that post there is about 400 mil tall and there's bramble bushes and trees. Brambles and traffic cones. Traffic cones and umbrellas and all sorts of rubbish left. Again, where's the duty of care? All these trees are weed trees. They've all grown in the last 20 to 30 years. Again, where's the duty of care? And, and I tell you another thing, this is, a bound, this is a supporting wall for a whole road that's around the corner. All of these weeder trees here are probably undermining the foundations of this, of this Victorian, this Victorian supporting wall that doesn't look in the best condition in all honesty what happens if that falls down where's the duty of care weed the trees right up against the supporting wall i'll show you what is here's the wall here i'll show you what it's supporting it's supporting a whole road a whole road and you can see the weed the trees growing up the side where is the duty of care here's another area to the rear of Blackwood Close, gate number 345, if I can get the camera through, and there we go, that lane is not even passable, there's trees there in that lane that are six foot tall, there's no way you can pass that lane, filled with rubbish and overgrown. This is Ilminster Street, Vale of Glamorgan Council, in Barry. here's another gated area that I'd like to show you. This is what happens to gated areas. And this is the reason why I've decided to do what I've done. Gate number 337. Well, look at that. Mattresses. Rubbish. But here's the worst one. Here's the worst one. You can't even see. That's... That's as tall as the garage. S rubbish. Loads and loads of rubbish. There's literally, it's got to be about eight foot tall and it's going back. There's a barrel there. There's an oil barrel, look. Let me get it to focus. There's an oil barrel and a wheelbarrow and well, loads and loads and loads of rubbish, look. Gate number 338 of Ilminster Street in Barry. And again, what a surprise. Full of litter, full of litter, black bags, rubbish. There's a tree stump up the top there, all sorts of stuff. There's pallets, plastic containers, garden waste. Disgraceful. Here's an important one. This is Kenilworth Road in Barry, Caddickson in Barry. Again, overgrown, overgrown lanes, glass bottles, rubbish. But I just wanna precariously walk down this lane. Actually, I might do it from this drive because it looks like here that Somebody has actually encroached into the lane. But it doesn't matter, really, does it? Nobody's going to get down that mess. Nobody's going to be able to get through there with all the brambles and, and rubbish. Somebody's took it upon themselves to take 
probably five square meters of a of a, a council lane but i mean does it matter look at it is anybody really going to walk along this lane with the state that it's in with bollards and rubbish and plastic and timber and rock brambles does it matter that somebody's taken a little bit of the the lane this is the side of my house here's the lane here's a what looks like a broken shed just left somebody sets fire to that who knows what could happen to my house it's less than it's less than three meters away from my house rubbish everywhere so we come to where i live on the corner of moxon street and cruella street uh, here's the cruella street open space uh, this facility is not open at present any persons found in the facility will be instructed to leave failure to follow this instruction will be result in a matter reported to the police any further details contact the visible services packs and grounds maintenance section there's a telephone number there Vale of Glamorgan Council. It's gate number 312. So this is the area in question. This is the area in question. This is where I live. Shopping trolleys, plastic, uh, TV aerials, sleeping bags, drums, plastic rubbish waste the grass has not been cut in a number of years this is supposed to be a, 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 an open space that's not been open incidentally for over 15 years here's the brambles that are starting to grow so you can imagine my concern then you can imagine my concern with what i've shown you with with bramble filled lanes you can imagine my concern when I start to see brambles growing and, and overgrown grass. So this is the area in question. This is my property here. This is the rear of my property. You can see the mess. You can see the overgrown paper and rubbish and, and mess here. Timber rubbish stone blocks rubbish and this is the worst thing this stuff here which i shown this is what i've been showing in all of the lanes and where i grew up in number six black or close this is the outline of a football go goals here and there's all trees growing through it and the ground is just not usable usable at all here in the corner here or well, here in the corner should i say is um, Japanese knotweed that's thriving. It's alive and well. Come spring, that'll grow another foot. Rubbish strewn lanes. Now, bear in mind, this lane here, that's, that's supposed to be a, uh, a flagstone concrete path. Look at it. There's no way anybody's walking down there. Being blocked off at one end. But here's the... Here's the point of all of this. Here's the point of all of this. The whole point of this video. I've been accused of fly tipping. Does this look like fly tipping? Or does this look like somebody who wants to grow trees, maybe grow some vegetables? It's all been laid out in bay, bay forms. This is not being dumped. Dry stone walling. This has not been dumped by any stretch of the imagination. This has been placed. There's already people that are planting roses. There's honeysuckle there. Looks like a bay tree there. There's another rose bush. There's, there's trees over there. Somebody's grass, this area. There's an apple tree. There's a pear tree. There's lavender. There's more lavender. This is an Acer. This is a Japanese Acer. This is, um, can't think of the name of this now off the top of my head. Um, that's definitely lavender. 
This is rosemary. Ah, rose, this is rosemary. Here's another apple tree. That there's an apple tree. That there's some kind of nice decorative ornamental bush. You've got an apple tree growing there. Coming around the side. Coming around the side. That looks like a, a pine tree, a Christmas tree. There's a rose bush. There's a bay tree. This here looks like one of those tropical pine trees. They're not a pine tree, a tropical um, plant from, from an exotic country that's, that's, that's growing there. Here, that there, can you see the green on the, on the bush? That's an, that's an apple tree, I believe. That's a blueberry bush. That's a blueberry bush. There's another blueberry bush growing. Lavender, more lavender, more lavender. This is an actual, this is a nut tree. This is a hazelnut tree that's thriving and, and growing. It's winter, it's winter, but there's green buds on here. This is gonna come in the spring. This is a plum tree that's been planted. This tree, this pine tree, unfortunately didn't make it. Then we have twisted willow. Twisted willow thriving out here. Absolutely thriving. Red, um, uh, red, um, I can't think of the name of that stuff now. It's like a red leaf bush thing. Twisted willow. More of that red bush growing. Twisted willow. Twisted willow. I think this is like a type of camellia that's growing here. And it goes on. More. Twisted willow. There's an oak tree that's thriving and growing well. Lots and lots of, of stuff happening. Lots and lots of stuff happening. So as a blueprint, here's your blueprint. A nice grassed area which somebody I'd like to think that I could look after that. I don't want it. This is not a land grab. I don't want the land, but I'd like to think that I could look after that. Again, people have plant, started to plant stuff on here. I'd like to think that people in this cost of living crisis can plant vegetables on here. Vegetables or maybe maybe grass it. Areas of, areas of use. Areas of use. So, this is not, this is not fly tipping. Oh, uh, also, uh, this used to be an allotment. Um, it was only a park for, um, it was, I think the park was open less than six months in 2007, I believe, 2006, 2007, before the Vale of Glamorgan decided to close it. Before that, it was, a, allotments so people in the surrounding area in these houses used to produce vegetables on this ground on this ground so as i mentioned earlier on i put a little bit of this earth out here but there was other people in the surrounding area that were out also adding to the earth in the night after four o'clock in the winter when it was dark uh, that i wasn't aware of all i knew is when i come out in the morning there was more earth put on this on this land but I'm green fingered I'm green fingered I'll look after this land I'll cut the grass I'll I'll plant stuff I'll plant trees as you can you know somebody's planted trees here you can see it's not dumped it's not rubbish like the rest of what I've shown you in Barry. It's duty of care. It's a problem with the Vale of Morgan Council. There's no duty of care. So, yeah, um, this is the end of the video. Sorry for it being so long, but I wanted to... I might use this um, video in, uh, as evidence um, if, if it does indeed go to court um, in my defence. Um, um, I've shown what areas of Barry will be like if it's left under the care of the Vale of Morgan Council. And I've shown areas that the community, the community would like to work with and, and use for their benefit. Um, yeah, 
not much more to say really not much more to say but it's a lack of duty of care from the Vale of Glamorgan Council and also and also this is not finished that's what I was going to say this is not this this is by no means this is like the old saying you can't crack you can't make an omelette without cracking a few eggs you can't grow grass in the winter it's not going to look like that in the spring and summer it's going to be grassed and looked after this is this is this is looking at a job that's maybe half done the people who are involved in this project here know that this is this is this is half half done you can't look at it half finished and accuse people of fly tipping there's fly tipping up there that trolley trolleys and bins and rubbish this is, this is not fly tipping this the other thing as well one more thing i know i'm banging on now <coughs> the amount of winter birds winter birds butterflies bees insects the land is now thriving the land is now absolutely thriving with nature thanks for watching thanks for being in with me put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers